The bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. I'm just gonna say I've had plenty of practice moving quietly. Out the back of bars, bedroom windows, you don't need the details. Anyway, once those Germans were gone, I put my skills to work, heading west towards the British front, quiet as an alley cat. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin, all spoiling for a fight. Lucky day. The Brits must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets instead of shelling the Germans. Still, I had to get through to our side of the line before those guns started up again. Hilfe 
Those trenches were packed full of the Kaiser's finest, but hopefully, most of them would be looking for trouble coming the other way. Hopefully. Some German machine guns at my back kind of encouraged me to keep my head down. No Man's Land was a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. But I held my course. Anything survive the crash that might be useful? Put your cards on the table. 
table, Blackburn. <laughs> You're not George Rackham, are you? Son of the fourth bloody Earl of Windsor. <laughs> How naive do you think I am? Oh. Uh, Let's get out of here. And the guy was losing a lot of blood. I didn't have much time to get him back alive. Lord Almighty! Look! Jerry Rackham! To our lines! The Germans aren't really known for their enough. They did everything they could to catch us. Wilson said I was a no-good, lying son of a bitch. I brought him home because I think he's probably right. And I hate that fact more than I can tell you. Hell is that man through no man's land? This guy's a bloody hero! No, he's nothing of the sort. He's a cheat, a thief, and a liar. And he'll answer for his crimes. That's right, Black.